Uncle JD here. I ain't made a video in a while because I've been hiding from that coronavirus, but I hear y'all kids talking about selling some raccoon Bluetooths. Why y'all trying to sell some poor raccoon's teeth for anyway? What you got a secret zoo, Mr. Good Kill Hunting? What you get bored of making your 20th Quiet Bill movie? Man hardly talks anyways. I imagine talking to Charlie Chaplin would be more fun, although I gotta admit, he does have some pretty good dancing moves. Also, why do y'all think people are so dumb they're gonna believe that coon teeth are blue? Everybody knows them critters' teeth are pearly whites. You know, they are not one of them little old blue singing forest fairies, okay? And what you doing with its teeth anyway, Sir Psycho the Turd? And why are you selling teeth of a poor old critter? Who is your daddy? Osama been killing Bambi's friends? What did the squeaky toy mouse buy your mommy and daddy's house? Is that why you're selling them makeup wearing possum teeth? Also, what you need to be doing is getting ready. <sighs> To pick out that cardboard box you're going to live in. I hear Home Depot's got some 95 ones. Because ain't anybody that wants to be in one of your sick fantasies there, Charlie Manson Jr. And the motherfuckers that do. Well, I, I do hope you like jigsaw puzzles. They're fun doing, ain't they? Putting them pieces together, trying to recreate the picture on the box, trying to figure out how they fit, seeing which piece goes where. It's a mystery, all right. Almost like when the authorities, when they're trying to figure out where your body is buried. Because anyone that'd be interested in buying some raccoon teeth from you, that's someone you don't want to be messing with. So stop trying to sell painted animal teeth on the internet to creepy guys and instead just sell your comic books. I heard they're worth a lot more money anyways.